Hi, and welcome to the Gwembassy. I'm Gwem. There's already been quite a big maximizer update this year, but I've got another little one for you. This has a much more precisely controlled pulse width modulation effect, and there's also some improvements to the sync square effect, but let's get into it and talk about the details. Well, here is the new version of Maximizer. Let's load up the new demo track. This is a brilliant tune from DMASC, who's uh, helped out a lot in Maximizer over the years. And this is a great demonstration of one of the new effects that I want to show you, which is the pulse width modulation effect. So after the last release, Evil of Dead Hackers Society contacted me and said, well, you know, why don't you have a look at the old pulse width modulation effect from Ziggy Stardust of the Overlanders? Now, I was aware of that effect, but I wasn't, you know, super keen to, to implement it. But I checked it out and uh, actually I decided it was a really cool effect and would be a nice contrast, a nice alternative to the normal SID effect that Maximizer has, the sort of synergy style SID. Now the great thing about the Ziggy Stardust technique, it does use a bit more CPU, but you can specify exactly at any point what pulse width that you're using. And for that reason, it gives you a lot more control over the pulse width, a lot more control over the sweeps and that kind of thing. But you'll hear what it can do for you in this example track from DMASC. Some things to watch out for. There's a sequence here where you can set the pulse width over time. There's also a fixed value for the pulse width down here. And furthermore, there are a bunch of effects for the pulse width. Seven, eight, and nine. And there you can do different sweeps of the pulse width and, um, and, and change it around exactly as you'd like. Let's have a listen to the DMASC example track. It is called Maximizer Pulse Width Modulation and Custom Wave Jam. <laughs> Seven commands. That is the pulse with modulation Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go. Absolute banger from DMASC there. And I think it's a great demo tune for Maximizer and it shows off the new pulse width modulation effect really well. So while I was working on that, meanwhile, Tat, Demo and myself, we were talking about the sync square effect because we weren't really happy with the stability of it. Tat has done a whole bunch of research and testing into the sync square effect and made some big improvements in stability. I was able to translate his work into Maximizer and I think the effect is quite a lot more versatile than it was in the previous version. Still doesn't work in H Atari, so I'm going to switch over to real hardware to demonstrate some of the sounds that you can get out of this newly stabilized version of the Sync Square. I think there's still some work to be done on it, but it's already a lot more interesting than it was, I think. Switched over to real hardware to show the improvements in the Sync Square effect. The extra stability in the effect means we can do some quite interesting effects. Here's a very short demonstration of a bell-like sound. Still not 100% stable, of course. It may never be on STE, but if you play the same song on a non-STE, on just on a vanilla ST, it is more stable. So to finish off, I want to talk a little more about the Ziggy Stardust PWM technique. Now a maximizer it exists together with the traditional Synergy SID effect, and you can use them in the same track even at the same time. And I think that's very valid because the Synergy effect is really good for leads, it's really smooth sounding, crystal clear, and the extra control that the Ziggy Stardust technique gives you is really good for backing sounds. In this demonstration track that I've written, you'll be able to hear the Ziggy Stardust pulse width modulation technique alongside at the same time as the traditional Synergy lead. Arpeggio there is using the Ziggy Stardust technique. Coming in now is a Synergy style SID. Synergy and the Overlanders at the same time.
Hope you enjoyed hearing about the new version of Maximizer. Any questions are always welcome to drop me a message. Thanks a lot for watching and take care.